Here is a DIY on how to install the Phoenix Racing catch can for the N54. It's a pretty straightforward install, you can get done in around 30 minutes. With the kit you're going to get the oil catch can, two hoses, and installation hardware. The purpose of the oil catch can is to prevent carbon buildup and keep your motor more reliable. Essentially, when crankcase pressure is high, you have blow-by, where air and oil get blown into your intake system. What this oil catch can does is separates the oil from the air, allows the air back into the intake, and keeps the oil in the catch can, preventing it from getting onto your intake valves. It's good to have these oil catch cans in the long run, as you'll be doing less carbon cleaning, and they also allow you to maintain higher horsepower, as with carbon buildup, you will see a reduction in power. You can begin by removing the cowl. If you haven't done this, I'll link one of my other videos in the description where I go over how to do that. Next, you're gonna come in and remove the crankcase vent hose. It is kind of an interesting design where it clips in in four different spots. So what you need to do is wedge screwdrivers in, but you need to do it carefully, otherwise it can break the clip. But essentially what you're doing is wedging screwdrivers in where it connects and then you can pull it off. It's kind of difficult to learn, but once you get it down, you can remove it somewhat quickly. We are going to be reusing the top of the old vent hose. So what you can do is heat up that neck with a blowtorch or a heat gun, and then it'll pop right off. With that old piece that we just removed, you can go ahead and pop it into the new hose that we got. The U-shaped hose can go ahead and plug into the rear inlet, heading towards where the catch can will be. Once you have that U-shaped hose on, you can go ahead and bring in your catch can. You can plug that hose into the right nozzle on the catch can. Then you can go ahead and bring in your bracket. The bracket is attached via two X bolts onto the strut brace. I would just put those in kind of loosely so you can still slide the catch can a little bit. The top of the catch can has a few different places where you can bolt it in to make it fit how you prefer. So the hose comes a little bit longer than you'll need. So run it to where the fitment is good and you can come in and cut it. You can use any large pair of like wire cutters or I use a branch cutter. You could probably use a Dremel or a small saw. They're pretty thick lines, but just cut it to size and give yourself a little bit of slack. This is what the end product should look like. You'll have the U-shaped hose plugged into the left side of the catch can and the straight hose plugged into the right side. Now that we've added these large hoses at the rear of the engine bay, the engine cover is no longer going to fit. So what you're gonna have to do is cut off this little tab at the back of the engine cover. So you can do that with a Dremel or a saw. If you don't cut this off, essentially the engine cover won't fit on properly and you won't be able to take off your oil cap. So this is what the end product looks like. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Thank you guys for watching.